The flight deck of the Liberator was crowded, at least it seemed so to Avon. All eyes were on the captured supercomputer, so-called known as Aurac. Blake viewed the machine with a degree of reverence. Everyone else except Avon appeared bewildered by its supposed brilliance, a brilliance that again supposedly outshone all other computers known to mankind. A good man died so that this didn't fall into the hands of the Federation, Blake said solemnly. He was going to sell it to them, wasn't he? Villarestal asked, not quite innocently. That's what he wanted them to believe, Blake frowned. He was desperate. Desperation can lead to mistaken loyalties. Anyway, we have Orac and the Federation doesn't. And so a brave new universe will come to pass, Avon said to no one in particular. If you don't like the idea of taking on the Federation, you can always jump ship, said Jenna. Let's not bicker, Blake interjected. We're all committed to the cause. Jenna sniffed disapprovingly. Can you make him work? Villa asked. Are you speaking to me? said Avon. Well, there's no one else here with a good knowledge of computers. So yes, I am speaking to you. Avon seemed transfixed by the machine. Can you make Aurac work? It was Blake's turn to ask. It's a man-made machine, so a man should be able to program and control it. Question is, am I that man? We just asked you that, Villa said irritably and irritatingly. I'll need time to find out, and I'd work a lot better if you weren't all crowding around me. Blake smiled. All right, Avon, we'll leave it to you. You're not going to trust him alone with that thing, are you? Jenna said, almost incredulously. If we don't trust each other, we might as well give up our fight against the Federation here and now, Blake said, somewhat patronizingly. Why don't I stay with Avon, interjected Callie, in an attempt to diffuse what might develop into a confrontation. I might be able to help him. Blake's smile returned and he nodded. Avon, I work better alone. Avon inserted the key and Aurax sprang into life. What do you want? it said irritably. I want everything you've got, Aurac. Oh, yes, I recognize you. You're Avon. I'm not sure I like you. You're a machine. You neither like nor dislike. You have no feelings. You follow instructions, collect information, and disseminate it. I can do a lot more than that. Oh, I believe you. This is the beginning of a beautiful relationship of mutual benefit. I don't see what's in it for me, Aurac said. You don't need to. All you need to concern yourself with is that if I want to, I can destroy you. As long as you understand that, we'll get along just fine.